Um, hi, I'm George Griffin. I'm Bryce Davidson. I'm Zach Marsden. I'm Harrison Smee. I'm Alex Norris. I'm Max Laird. So it was after patrol hours, like 30 minutes after um, the patrol had finished, and we were up the north end of the beach, and there was, there was some pretty big waves coming in, and um, a pop-up rip had popped up right in the middle of the beach, and we had been boogie boarding for half an hour when we heard screams, so all six of us paddled over, and there was six people in trouble, so three kids and two teenagers had been dragged out in the rip, and a mother had seen her kids out there and tried to swim out and save them. Yeah, so we all went out to the rip and we got every one of them on our boards. Everyone was panicking, all the kids were screaming, but, like, we knew since we had patrol that day and we've had all this training, we're like, oh, this is normal to us. We uh, got them on the boards, paddled them in, but they were still screaming, so all our, all our boys here were just, like, trying to calm them down and even local surfers were coming in and helping out with the rescue. It was all good. Yeah, I reckon just the most crucial part of this was just to stay calm and really use the skills that have been taught to us and, um, yeah, really stay calm when we're doing these drills and doing these practicing to really make it um, beneficial for us when we're rescuing these people. So, yeah. I Yeah, just like the boys said earlier, there was six people that we had to rescue and it all worked out well. So it was basically a person with each of us and uh, a couple of local surfers as well helping out and we got everyone back to shore safely. And uh, it was all good that we were out there on time because if we weren't, it could have ended up as bad or, you know, even worse. Um, but, yeah, I was just, we're just thankful that we're all out there at the right time and all the locals were helping as well and glad that no one got hurt. Yeah, I just think just everyone just communicated so well. Like, we all, we all just worked together. Like, we've had countless of shifts together. And, yeah, we just, we just really worked as a team. Like, everyone just went to one person. We didn't, we weren't panicked. We just, kind of like second nature to us like that weekend three of us were doing our bronze medallion so that that really helps especially yeah just staying calm in the moment making sure everyone else is calm and okay and yeah got the job done so full credit to the boys we all um once we heard the screams we're all like this is a real rescue so we we paddled to them and we all got them on our boards and at this point we're all thinking how are we going to get them in because we had the choice to either try and swim in against the current which they'd just been pulled out in and that was it wasn't likely that we were going to be able to um, paddle in against the current so we made the choice to come a little bit further south and um, wait for a break in the sets and the big waves and we saw a gap between the sets and just said all right let's go so we um, got all of the people on our boards, one on each board, and then we started kicking and paddling in. And it was hard, but we eventually got them in. And at the end, we're all very grateful that everyone was okay. After we uh, did the rescue, I uh, just went. So we all went back home and just told our parents, and they were like pretty stoked that of you know what what we did. And it was pretty cool because. It's not really many times like in a life that you like, can do that and save other people's lives and it makes you feel really good. And then at school or just walking around um, Kaima, you'd just be walking past people and they'd ask, oh, were you involved in that rescue? And you say, yeah, and that make you feel really good about yourself. Um, but yeah, other than that, it was just pretty, pretty surreal to be in. And just, yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, I think it was just like a great experience to be able to use our skills and practice in this. And, um, yeah, I just think my parents were very proud. And, I mean, not every kid can really save a whole bunch of teens and little kids and mums and all that at once. So I think it was just the part of being proud of yourself for doing all this. And, yeah. Yeah, I guess it was just, like, a real great sense of pride, not only for us in our family, but throughout the community as well. Like, we, it was gone on the local news. I was pretty cool and yes walking around and just seeing all the smiles on people's faces after the rescue we came in 
where it was the the beach was actually pretty packed for it after hours. And yeah, we all got a standing ovation. So great sense of pride and yeah, it was awesome feeling. So it's really important and we're really grateful to have um, the equipment and the training that we got from Nippers. The tubes, the boards, um, it's all vital to um, understand how to complete a rescue if you're ever in a situation like that. And we're just really grateful that we were able to be taught how to... (laughs) Um, what to do in a rescue and we were put in these fake situations in nippers where we were either given a tube or a board and we have a mate who's out of the water saying oh, I need help just as a training exercise and it was really good and we learned um, we, we learned a lot from those things and that really helped us on the on the day. And as you start nippers from a young age you get taught to swim in between the flags and always raise a hand if you're in if you get caught in a rip and as you continually like grow and get older throughout nippers, you start uh, doing uh, rescue, like little little rescues amongst your group. So whether that be board rescues or tube rescues, uh, and then once you're like in the 13s and 14s, so the older ages, you start um, rec- like you need to get your first aid certificate and your bronze medallion, and that teaches you like what to do in an actual situation and help out with first aid as well. And it's so good that we have all the rescue equipment, the tubes, the boards, uh, and even the rubber ducky. Um, And it's just great that with that equipment, we can get to people in need as quick and as fast as possible, whether that be like in a rip or, or yeah, whatever, whatever trouble they're in. So I just think that just how me, Harrison, Alex, and all the other boys did the bronze medallion, just like with a thankful, we're just thankful with all the staff members and all that to like help us with all this. Like you know, we wouldn't have been able to do it without all everyone's help from like the surf club, from you know even the community. Like just this, all this, all this has just really helped us with doing this rescue. Just like even even the simplest things that we learn in nippers can still add up to all of this. You know, like it's so important. If there was one thing to take away from all this is. My one rule would probably be if you can't swim, probably don't swim. And don't, don't be swimming after um, patrol hours. It's probably not the safest idea. And always continue, continually listening to um, our patrol members and all that because we obviously know the most and we're here to help. One take that I would say is just always swim between the flags on patrol hours. You'll patrol between the flags, you're the safest. We're patrolling that area. And, yeah, we can assist you if you need it. So swim between the flags listen to every every one of our moves we're out there with a whistle and yeah just be safe yeah i just think that the most important thing is swim between the flags but also when you're at home or when you think you're about to go to the beach just check the forecast like check every single weather app check if the beach is open even when you come down check for five minutes like is there any rips or where's the best place to swim like it's always going to help you something that my dad told me was every time we'd go to the beach whether we're going for a surf or just going for a swim, it's check, check out the conditions. Is it big? Are there rips? What's it like out there? And also, um, you don't go swimming or surfing without someone. It's just, it, it's a rule that just makes sense because it's way more safe because if something happens and there's always someone else there, yeah, that's a big one. Yeah, one, one key take that I always like think of or see people like before going into the water uh, is know your ability so like if it's big big swell or big surf and like you see like people swimming out the back you like all, always got to be ready just in case like something bad could go wrong especially in big conditions uh but other than that like a, another key takeaway would be sort of between the flags uh in patrol hours and always looking out for rips on the north and southern side of surf beach it's great to do nippers and it's great that I know in the future that I'm going to do volunteer life-saving because it, it's, it's a great thing to have in your mind because you know that it'll be something you can use for the rest of your life and it's um, a great way to hang out with mates and it's a lot of fun as well. Yeah, I just really enjoy just coming down here, helping out the community and just hanging out with mates. But, like, it's just since, since I have all this training and coming down to the beach, I just really like coming down, you know worth it yeah i just have to say like i love coming to the beach i love helping out the community it's really good socializing with mates 
Um, yeah, nothing much else. Um, it's good being a life a volunteer lifeguard because you know you're down at the beach, one of the you know best places that you could ever be. Um, you know, you get to go like surfing or bodyboarding, swimming, whatever. And another good thing is you're here with your mates and you're, you know, helping out the community, helping out people and always like talking. And then it gives, like doing this gives you like life skills as well. And then with all that, the training that like goes into plan before it and like leads up to it, it's really good knowing that with that training, if there is someone in need of assistance, you can just go out and just help them based off what you've learnt with the previous training yeah it's just I think it's just so rewarding just seeing all the smiles on the community's faces uh, just coming in on a weekend what better way to spend it than at the beach and yeah just real social social event really just talking to everyone doesn't necessarily have to be your mate it just can be a random person coming up and yeah it's just just yeah great sense of feeling yeah, it's really good to help out the community and have fun with your mates. That's all I got to say. Respect.